Hello and welcome back to Lights Up Lights Down. Today I'm going to be doing some work on the Supra, uh, just quickly. Car park's full again. Always full. Yep, so yeah, today I'm doing work on the Supra. Um, regular viewers of the channel will know that I've had this car since 2004-ish and during my entire ownership of the car I've put up with the terrible um, J-Spec brakes but today that's about to change because I've got all that to fit which is brand new genuine Toyota um, UK spec brakes with uprated pads so we've got all the clips there everything we should need got some uprated Goodridge hoses these discs pretty impressive they sit there handed um, calipers are proper four pot mono block ones on the fronts and the two pots on the rears all replacing those so I'm happy to say that that is the last time I am going to be driving this car with those brakes on it. Well, provided everything fits, of course. There's the rears. So yeah, so it's going to be a vast improvement. They're going to look a lot better behind the wheels. And more importantly, they're going to brake a lot better. So I've got this afternoon to get them fitted. So I'm going to be cracking on. I'll show as much as I can on the video. And um, yeah, so you see how it goes. <coughs> There it is, the rear is in all its J-spec goodness. So what I'm going to do first of all is I just want to get rid of the fluid really that's in there because it's not very nice. So I'm going to take a nip off and pump it through, suck it through. We've got a uh, sucker, sucking device. Um, so I'll put it through and I'll just pull the fluid out and start getting some nice newer fluids. I don't want to get any of this old stuff in the new brakes. So I'll get cracking with that first. Well, that was a bit of a fight, but got the caliper and caliper carrier off. And um, next step is to, I've got this hanging here because obviously we're, we're replacing the um, the hoses anyway. So um, yeah, just get that all off and then that's out the way then. And then we'll look at getting the disc off, which is looking rather tired and a bit thin by the looks of it. Okay, so I've unboxed the new brake hoses um, and there's loads and loads of these different e-clips or sir clips whatever you want to call them but none of them seem to actually fit in on here very well they seem either too tight or too small so I've got the original off and that's what I'm going to use because that just seems to fit right um, it looks like these ones fit the front front hose is well enough but I'm going to use the, the original on the back and I'll use the new clips on the underside so let's get this loosely sitting into place now I did get warned that these hoses were originally over tightened by Toyota at the factory and it's quite right because if you look at the edge of that it's kind of bellied out a little bit. I don't think you can see that on the camera. And what's actually happening then is that's trying to catch up on the threads on the new hoses. So I'm just going to try and very carefully with a um, belt sand, with a uh, finger sander, just try and shave a little bit of that off so we can get that in. So if you see what's happening is that's catching on the threads, and then of course then it's not wanting to go down. So hopefully I can get away with doing that. So we'll give that a Ok, 
Well, that's a bit more of a pain in the bum than I was expecting. Um, I found that the um, that the original clips were better than the Goodridge ones. I just found they kept spreading. Um, I had to mis- just sort of thin down this tab a little bit. Otherwise, it just wasn't. They just weren't clipping in. Anyway, that's that done. So it's all tightened up there. So we we'll get on and remove the disc. Try and remember how that actually comes off because I did do it years ago, but. Not sure how it comes off at the moment, but I'm sure I'll work it out. Now discs off. There's a bit of a size comparison. Um, right, turn it um, turn it upside down. Not as much of a difference as I was expecting, to be honest. We we're talking about 10 mil all the way around. It's the, uh, I mean, this is the rear, and obviously the calipers are going to make the most difference. So, let's get it fitted. Okay, that's the new disc fitted. Um, I pushed back the the dust dust guard on the back. I just pushed that back out of the way rather than rather than cut it. it seems to be working all right. If there's any problems later, I will have to cut it, but I think that'll be fine. Right now for a caliper comparison. So, that's the, um, excuse Jim and everyone in the background, they're all working on their own cars here today, Jim, talk, Jim talking about Bush again, uh, <laughs> so yeah, old caliper, looking manky and single pot, new caliper looking very nice and twin pot, so let's go and fit this one. Hmm. Need more hands, different camera. Right, discovered a new problem, and that is that when you try and put this in here, you notice that it's hitting the, hitting the dust shield there and there, so I do need to cut a bit of dust shield back just to get the caliper in. Let's get the caliper in where I need to get it in. Sorry, this camera doesn't always go where you want it to go. But yeah, if I get that cut back, I can get it in. See, it's not an MX-5. MX-5s, we know everything. So that's all cut back now. The caliper should now fit. We've got clearance around there and down there. So good. We'll try again. We're fitting that and the disc. Okay, schoolboy error. I was just bolting this caliper up. I did have a look at them first and think, are they left-handed or right-handed? And of course they are, aren't they? Because the bleed nipple should always be at the top. So I'm going to put the other caliper on this side now. All right, caliper fitted. Got the hose fitted on the back as well. Oops. Um, leak has been in the right place, crucially, not down there. Um, next step is to adjust the handbrake, which is done through this hole here. It's a little spline to turn. Um, and after I've done that, I should put the pads in and I guess bleed this side. And that'll be this side done. Woohoo! Looks so much better. Can't wait, can't wait to peel that off. Anyway, handbrake. Okay, new pads. So we've got a complete shim kit, which appear to be handed or directional. Um, so there you have anti squeal plates, kind of finishing trim, I guess. Even comes by the looks of it. By <coughs> Excuse me. With the grease, by the looks of it. So let's get them fitted up, get them ready to, uh, to go in. Right, had to fast forward a little bit because uh, I was running out of time and I only get so much amount of time on a Saturday to uh, to get stuff done in the car before I have to go back home and be dad. So I had to crack on. You saw most of the rears, but I'll just run through it all and show you what we did in the fronts as well. So let's, crack, let's show you what I've done. Let's look at the camera. Yeah, there we go. So rear is all on. So as you will remember, probably more so than me because for you it's a lot sooner ago than it was for me so yeah new Goodridge hoses on the back there had a little bit of messing about to do around here to get it all to sort of fit properly um, cut the backing plate to clear for the caliper yeah got you there and then um, then push back push it back out of the way um, handbrakes all adjusted up new caliper and now what I'm gonna do now is a bit I've been waiting to do for ages just pull this off and hope it has super rim behind there and not Lexus or something like that. So look. Oh yeah. 
well pleased with that. So, right, fronts. So fronts were actually a lot easier than the rears. Um, and no issues at the top here. That all worked fine. Let's put this torch somewhere so I'm not holding it. There we go. Yeah, yeah so that all, that all just clipped in, no problem at all. Still had to do the same um, kind of uh, sanding down of the, this, uh, what do you call it, banjo, um, because that was bellied like the rears were. A little bit tricky to get that, can you see that, that out of there. It's quite stuck in there, you can't see that very well on the camera. Um, let's pull that round. Hose all into there. Um, again, let's do a bit of cutting back on the back end plate and just pushed it back out of the way. And that was it. That was the fronts all done. So again, let's pull this sticker off. All right. Yep, well happy with that. They're going to look so good behind the wheels. Right, now let's look at the disaster that was the old set. Because <laughs> you remember seeing these on the uh, on the table earlier this morning. So these, um, to be fair, they've been well neglected. I've not really done anything to these. The car went into storage for, I don't know, six years. The brakes had issues before they even went in there. I know that one of the fronts was binding slightly, which I think is actually the red one. Um, that was slightly binding. That one I've changed, but these discs, well past their best. That one there, I think it was a 3G disc, I don't even know if they exist anymore. That one kind of, a load of rusty bits fell out of that one. But yeah, glad to see the back of those. As I say, they're not too bad J-Spec brakes as long as they're well serviced, which these ones were not. But I had no intention of servicing them because I knew that next stage was going to be to put, to put, this, put these UK ones on, so... Yeah, really pleased with how they how they look. Let's just hope they fit under the wheels, which I'm sure they will. So I'm going to get the wheels on and drop it down on the ground. Everything's all bled, new fluid all the way through, so everything should be fine. Um, and then give it a road test. All right. Well, luckily they fit behind the wheels. I kind of knew they would, but yeah, really pleased. That's the rears. Really pleased with how they look. Set the form as well as they look. Look a bit, I must admit, they look a bit smaller behind there than I thought they were going to, but yeah, all in all, really pleased. Just lower it down and give it a road test. Well, I've had a quick drive around the industrial estate, real quick drive, and immediately I can feel the difference. There's hardly any travel on the pedal, um, and it, the braking effort is just, it's just way better. Get it out on the road soon. Um, Hopefully I'll be able to put that on the end of this video. If not, it'll be on a video following. But yeah, just have a quick look on the ground and see what you think. Right, um, so rear. You don't need me to tell you that's a rear, do you? You know that's a rear. Right, over to the front, even though you know that's the front as well. There we go. It just, just looks right now. Compared to how they look before, I always thought when I put these wheels on, I always thought the brakes were too small. Um, but now, yeah, they just just looks right. Going to the other side, which surprisingly looks the same as this side, only in shadow. But yeah, really pleased. So big thanks to SRD for sorting them out for me, um, and James Cribb for giving me a few tips. Especially that one up in the um, for the brake pipes, because I'm not sure I would have thought of just sanding that back. I would have, I probably would have ended up changing, changing the end. Right. Okay. So thanks for watching. Like I say, I will do a, um, I will do a, a drive video with it, showing you what the brakes are. It's a bit difficult to show though, really, on the video. But um, maybe I'll just give feedback on another video at some point. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Keep tuning in, subscribe. Um, also, I don't know if you've noticed, but we do actually now have the Facebook page for the YouTube channel. Come look out here, Roy's banging stuff. Yeah, we do have a. Oh, where have you gone? That's supposed to be face tracking. It's not, is it? Hang on. Come back. <laughs> there we are. Right, okay. Yeah, so we do have a Facebook page now. 
um, so it's a good place to get on there like because like when this was coming up I'd put I'd put a few pictures like all the boxes and stuff to give an idea of what was coming up on a video so yeah get on the Facebook page as well and you'll get a few tips it's also a good place to you know ask for, ask for videos for us to do so yeah thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one cheers bye